Peter, how's it going, man? Good. How you doing? Yeah. Welcome aboard. Right. Yeah. yeah. First of all, like uh, I heard really great things about you. Mm. Why I was working for Pagoda? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody talked about any other phony teacher mm -hmm. other than you. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like uh, quite a few students actually. Not only one, but multiple students came up to me. Of course, you know, like they took your class, right? Mm -hmm. They were taking your class while they were taking my class. Mm -hmm. They were like telling me that, hey, you know, like there was a phony teacher. Mm -hmm. His name is like uh, Peter, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He's really good. Yeah. I've never seen any foreign teachers like him, like a very well organized, oh, yeah? giving feedback, really accurate, really to the point feedback. Mm. So they're like really impressed. And then I was like, really? That's I mean, finally, finally, we got together, bro. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, glad you're not scared. Yeah, yeah. On top of that, you know, mm. we're about to work together. Right. So I'm super stoked. Yeah. Yeah. Me so, too. Peter, so like tell me about yourself, you know, why you're so special? Why so many Korean people like they like you so much? They're like, oh, like rooting for you, they're, they're like, oh my god, Peter, you know, Peter, English god, uh, why? Because at first I'd pay them to say that. <laughs> yeah. second, second of all, because, yeah. I don't know, I, just, I, I like teaching. You like teaching? I like teaching and I like, yeah. you know, my mission is to make yeah. make them sound like me. Yeah, wow. And to make them sound like me, yeah. I have to be mm. firm, mm. a little bit harsh, yeah, yeah. a little bit strict, yeah, yeah. but kind of friendly. Yeah, yeah. So in all yeah. those ways, I feel like the students are getting yeah. what, getting what they're paying for. So what made you really excited about teaching here? Because mm -hmm. given the fact that you've been here for like seven and a half years, that mm -hmm. means you know you like your job so much. Oh yeah. But otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You'd be outside of South Korea, right? Right. Doing something else. Right. Why? I think uh, first of all, Korean Korean people they you know they just love studying stuff. Oh, okay. They love studying. They love education, no matter what age, which mm -hmm. is kind of a special thing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if you're 10, 20, 30, 40, mm -hmm. you come to the Hagwon. Yeah. You know, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I expect that. Okay. Second thing is that the Korean people they pour lots of time and money into studying English. Yeah. Not that good at English. Yes. So, that's so sad, right? Mm -hmm. Sad story. It is. So yeah, yeah. Sad, sad stories. And I think as I the longer I stay here, yeah. the more I can develop a little pattern in my head ah. about why they're not good at English, what they're doing wrong. Which we, which I really want to talk about because you know a lot of people, as you said, right, a lot of Korean people they put a lot of money into English education, money, time, everything, right? Mm -hmm. But still, I can, you know, I can see their struggle. I yeah. can see their like you know depression on their face. That mm -hmm. why, <laughs> why all those years, you know, did I waste my time? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, part of it I think is just because they have the wrong goal in mm -hmm. mind. Like a lot of the times, they're not studying English to be good at English. Uh -huh. Studying English to get a job. Yes. Studying English to pass this test. Mm. And then after they get that job and pass that test, they mm. think, my struggle is finished. Oh, yeah. But actually, the struggle has just begun. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, as an English teacher, mm -hmm. what do you think you can help mm. your potential students? Oh. Obviously, I know that those people who are taking your class, you know, they get tremendous help from you, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, you're like talking to those people who don't know you, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, why don't you say yourself? You know, what's your selling point? My selling point, <laughs> my selling point is that when you say something wrong or unnatural yeah, yeah. or konglishy, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to let it pass. Oh, I'm going to wow. catch everything you say wow. and I'm going to say that's wrong yeah. and this is how you do it in the native mm -hmm. way. Okay. And I, if we do that enough, mm -hmm. day, day in, day out, week yeah. by week, yeah. soon you'll start talking like me. Oh, wow, like you. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a pretty May not be a good thing, statement. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. What if, how long do you think it's going you know, to take for them to speak like you? No guarantees. No guarantees, okay, wow. <laughs> all right, all right, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what is the biggest struggle that you have faced while you're teaching? Mm -hmm. I'm just you know, curious about uh, you are like, you know, something that you mm -hmm. made you, ah, you know, why? Why this is not working? I, I think one of the struggles is yeah, yeah. just some some people they're real set in their ways uh, the way they learned english yeah, yeah. when they when they were a kid mm -hmm. you know like like must must and have to and should are the same thing yeah, yeah only yeah. with different degrees of, yeah, yeah. of hardness yeah yeah and stuff like that yeah, yeah. and at that time is at yeah. that time and at that time uh, is at that time that yeah, kind yeah. of thing because i learned that when they were young yeah yeah so it's it's kind of like uh not only am mm. i teaching mm. but i'm also deprogramming mm. some of the things that they may have learned back in the 80s yeah they're yeah. wired to speak like that they're yeah. wired to you know this is this way this is that way yeah, right? English way. 
I think your language is very flexible. You know, it changes yeah. over the course of time, sure, right? Sure, so sure. if you like think that oh, this is gonna be the right way, this is gonna be the wrong way, yeah. I think you know it's gonna give them a lot of headaches because you know there's a lot of unusual rules. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I can totally agree with you on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and the, that and the kind of mathematical formulaic way. Oh yeah, of yeah, Making yeah. grammar, that kind of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes they make a sentence and mm. it's wrong, and then mm. they say, mm. uh, "How did you even come up with that?" Mm. And they say, "Oh, there's mm. this, this calculus uh -huh. trigonometry formula that we yeah, use." Yeah, 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 formula. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm.